Well, my I feel like I've stopped this car before. Hey, got somebody running. Sheriff's office. You want the taser? Is that what you want? Out of here. Get the fuck on the ground. Fucking told you, drop the fucking. Nineteen traffic. One sixty in loop, Nevada, six seven five, Zebra Charles Victor, White Ford Focus. I feel like I've stopped this car before. Hey, how's it going, man? Deputy Gunningham, Knight County Sheriff's Office. Reason I stopped you, you got a headlight out. Yeah. Side. Uh, I want to say it is your passenger side. Yep. Okay. Yeah, uh, you have your license? Yep. Thanks. So in Nevada, the uh, light violations end 30 minutes before sunrise, and I literally pulled them over three minutes before that deadline. If uh, there's no warrants, nothing, I'll go ahead and cut them loose for a good morning. Do you have the uh, insurance paperwork? Yep. My registration too. No, that's good. It just shows the uh, insurance expired literally last night. Yeah, the 15th. <laughs> I don't have my glasses on me. All right. All right, that's good. Yeah, when you originally register the car, they only put on file that original registration. So when you go to re-register, it re-updates. So sometimes it shows well, expired. Well, I'm on auto pay, so. Well, that's like with the DMV. And so it expired last night. So I'm sure your insurance company probably hasn't updated it yet. So it happens quite frequently. But you're good. I see the good paper. But yeah, in the system, it shows literally it expired last night. Yeah. At the DMV? Yeah, the DMV returns. So what do we got to do now? Um, nothing on our end. I mean, if you want to call the DMV or call your insurance company and tell them, hey, you need to update it with uh, oh, okay, the DMV, okay. All you're right. good. All right. But so, all right. I was going to say because yeah, yeah, I never it, had my insurance labs. So. No, yeah, it's fine. And usually, like, when that happens, there'll be, like, a notice. Like, it didn't have the red, like, expired, but I looked at the date, and it said expired as of last night. Okay. So, that's probably from, like, when you originally registered the vehicle. That was the timeline that it had insurance for the system. And I don't know, man. Dude, I had one the other night where the plates were surrendered and expired, but he had a valid registration that was in his name that didn't match. Like, DMV screws up sometimes, man. But... So, the right side you said? Yes. Yeah. Looks like it's on. So, right. here's your ID back. Oh, Let's yeah. go and get that oh, fixed. Right, yep, have a good night. 19 traffic. Yeah, 19. The Homestead Dandelion negative registration on a black SUV. South 19, copy.
Hello, Deputy Cunningham, Knight County Sheriff's How Office. The reason I stopped you, no plates. I know, I just got the truck. My son just got it when we were getting gas. He went that way and I was going home. Okay. So. Not much. I was watching it at the gas station for a little bit. Nineteen went out of Nevada. South nineteen. Last of Orman, Ocean, Robert, Mary, Adam, Nora. First of Teresa, Tom, Henry, Edward, Robert, Edward, Sam, Sam, Adam. Date of birth. South 19, copy. South 19. Good. South 19, last of Orman, first of Therese, negative one, valid class C Charles, expires 2 of 27 with negative restrictions. Copy, thank you. Just left, I mean, we were just leaving the gas station. The guys pulled in and tossed me. Okay. I have a place to live now. Oh, okay. Do you have uh, insurance on the vehicle? Yes, I just got it. And my son's got all the information. I have nothing and I don't have my phone. Okay. I got it through um, um the dance insurance, key insurance. Okay. He you paid for it for me. I bet PLPD. I that's it. I just see I haven't gotten the information. It's online and I can't get my phone. It's going to be the okay. first major lot on the west side of the road. Not related to Ryan. Not related to Ryan, you. thank you. I was just going to ask you, I like, guess. Is that Ryan? No, Brian is my son's Brian. name. Brian. Okay. And he's a lot older and he's very Christian and we're, he knows this, not related to Brian. So, uh, I'm glad you remembered that, thank yeah. you. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> would you do me a favor and step out of the vehicle? I'm going to run the van and stuff and okay. check on the vehicle. I guess it's, um, hey, Teresa, is there any marijuana in the car that I need to help out? Here's the title. Okay. It's got the number on it. Okay. So, Teresa, I'm just going to have you go step in front of the car, okay? I'm going to run my dog in front of the car. Go right ahead. Lights. You have a doggy? I do. Am I on camera? Yeah, just hang out right in front of can the I car. Can I call my son? Just so he we'll can come back we, and... We'll see what we can do. Just hang out in front of the car, okay? South 19, no, we're in a bad one, right? 296, copy, stand by one, break, South 19. Good. South 19, your van ending in 1494, negative one, it's returned to Nevada 005, north 52, it's suspended as of 83121, on an 05 Chevrolet Ford or wagon, plastic off, first of crystal, out of Los Angeles. Copy, negative one. 0798 out of Nevada. Can't fix Uh He has the um, Malinois. Malinois? Mm -hmm. K95, K9, just What? I don't remember Bubba. Bubba, Bubba, oh, I don't know. K96, clear for traffic. Hey, firm, if that's going to be a non action note report, that is the only one coming. Don't worry. K96, that's the firm, that's what it's for. He's also showing cautions of armed and dangerous on that warrant. He's also returning with a valid ID card. The two water on the back. That mill is going to be code 4. He's actually going to be homeless at this point. The residence that we're at is where he's going to be residing. 10 seconds, nothing. How long have you had the vehicle? Three days, four days, something like that. Alright, we got a positive alert, so we're gonna search the vehicle. Hey, Teresa, which tire? Cancel. The front left. Angel left, Rogers. 
formerly trespassed from the 101 South Emory address. When I was sitting there, we zoomed in on him with the camera, and he took a quick hit of something. Now, so, he hit on that. Right there, right on that tire. He sniffed those right here. Yeah, if you want to. Well, my dog positively indicated on the vehicle, which means that we do have the right to do it. Okay? He's a drug certified drug dog. He can sniff out narcotics. Wonderful. Good. <laughs> so when he positively alerts like the way he did there, I have all right to search that vehicle without a warrant. Okay? I didn't see him. Can I call my son now, please? Sit there. Relax. What if you find something on there? I just put the car in. I need to call my son. I'm scared. Just sit there and relax. God damn. Just make sure you keep an eye on her. Yeah, she's acting a little strange. Looked up underneath the wheel well and didn't see anything. She's very nervous in that situation. Please don't take my son. Please don't take my truck apart. Wow. This panel's been screwed back on. I'm gonna grab a screwdriver.
All right, this is Deputy Cunningham, Knight County Sheriff's Office on a recorded line. Um, I'm here with your mother. Um, she's operating a vehicle without insurance. She said that you have the proof of insurance. Um, would you be able to... Okay, well either way I can't let it go back on the road otherwise I have to tow it. Would you be willing to come pick her up and take her home because I can't have the vehicle on the roadway? Okay, we're at Homestead and Dandelion. All right, thank you, sir. Uh, <clears throat> the vehicle, unless... You if, if you have uh, driver insurance, not vehicle-specific insurance, yes, you can. Is that your lights making my dance like up like that? Yeah. There's your Thank license you. back. Is All it right. coming? Yeah. Okay. So I'm going to give you a citation for no insurance because you got to have proof of it on you. I can also write you a ticket for not having a valid movement permit, but I'm going to cut you a break on it. Thank you yep. very much. So... I need all your guys' information, because that was totally not right. That dog I'm, did not hit on this car. I'm Deputy Cunningham. That's Deputy Daler. I've had dogs all my life. That dog did not hit on this car. Do you have business cards? They don't have our names printed on them. They're generic. Cunningham and what? Daigler. Sorry, but... I'm, I'm not a twit young girl that you guys can harass like that. Dagler. D, 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 D. D, I, D, A, I. D, A, I. G, L, E, R. And the supervisor's name is Sheer. S, C, H. E, R. E, R. And that's who you're going to want to talk to. Sheer. Yep. S, C, H, E, R. Um. Okay, thank you. So here's your citation. Yeah. Proof of insurance required. Respond. My, did my son tell you that he got it? He said he didn't know he had it, if, if he had it or not. Okay. So this cannot be on the roadway without insurance, so... It's going home. Well, he's going to come pick it up. He says that he's insured as a driver, so if that's the case, he can drive it home. Okay. Um, but it, it, you cannot drive it. Okay. If it goes back on the road, I tow it. Okay. So respond to the prompt justice court by September 13th, 2023, 8 a.m., 1520 East Basin. There's your title and your citation. Thank you. Yep. All righty, so we are currently headed to an intoxication. Um, there is a highly intoxicated person, from what the RP is saying, uh, starting problems. Uh, the intoxicated person swung at the RP's boyfriend and the boyfriend swung back in self-defense They're trying to get the male gone um, RP took the keys to the vehicle that the male had arrived in uh, So they are okay. stating that the males did physically fight And they are currently separated but not Too far from each other so this is one of those situations where we want to get there as uh, quick as possible and uh, prevent them from physically engaging each other again. Hey, you got somebody running. Hello? Hello? What's going on today? Um, so, we have, my boyfriend ended up having one of his friends, Martin, come over, and Kay. it kind of escalated because they were drinking. Okay. And he was trying to leave. My boyfriend was trying to get him to stop. He wasn't wanting to work with him. And then he got out of his vehicle, swung on him, and my boyfriend swung back. And we're trying to get, because he somehow started his truck again. He was trying to leave, but then his ex-lover finally got him to stop. Okay. 
and now he's just sitting in his truck. Okay. Who's your boyfriend? What's his William. name? William. Okay. Hello. Hello. Where is the? Uh, is that him? Right there on the porch. Okay. okay. I have a roommate, but me and her. Have you been drinking it all tonight? Okay. What's up, man? Okay. What's up, buddy? What's going on today, man? You are? You look like you're. What's up with your face, man? Yeah, you. Okay, that's fine. How old are you, bud? You have an ID on you? Okay. Yeah, I'll just check it out real quick. You all right, man? You're bleeding. Yeah. You want medics or anything? Where? Right here, bud. On your knee. Oh. And then oh, you got I... some cuts as well. I was busting my knee. Thank you, sir. Oh, sorry, I got one out of Nevada deal. Go ahead. Last of <laughs> Date of birth is 2001 now, <laughs> Did you guys get in a fight or anything like that? No, right. How'd you get all busted up man? Did you fall or something then? Yeah, actually, actually. yeah Okay Fell off he was sitting here, here and then he fell off. off. That's how he got all the scratches. Yeah. Yeah. No, I wasn't fighting anyone. Okay. Good. Copy. Whose house is this? Um, actually, my landlord owns it. Okay, but who stays here regularly? I do. Okay. And, um, Will does. And Will, okay. And what about you? Are you just visiting today? I have friends. Yeah, I'm just... Okay. Uh, yeah, we're all just um, friends. <clears throat> okay. Yeah, we're all just friends. We're just hanging out. Okay. Yeah. It was actually, when he fell off, I actually went and picked him up. Because I was like, are you okay, dude? Did I? Right, right. Yeah, you did. I did pick you up. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, I look. I, guess what? I'm the person who does look out for their friends. Believe it or not, Ripley's. Believe it or not, you know. Okay. It's, awesome. it's in Bayda Park. Ripley's. Believe it or not, great wax museum. Okay. Ripley's. Here's the here's the deal. I have them telling me that there was a fight. I have you guys telling me that there was no fight. Somebody's obstructing my investigation. Okay. okay. Sorry. So I don't know. I, I don't know who it is. Right? You're telling someone, me one thing, they're telling me another. Is someone getting um, charged with assault or something? Let's put it this way. I did not see any fight. Yeah, I don't, okay. know. I don't see one. I heard some he loud totally voices. He totally fell on the ground, though. It. Okay. And I was like, dude, you're burned, aren't you? Oh, yeah, I can see you fell. I mean, you got... Yeah, he totally got some, fell. Some stuff in like, your hair, oh, bud. I was like, oh, dude, are you okay? <laughs> yeah, I did, I did fall. Okay. I totally uh, fell right off the porch right there. Okay. Really. Alright, Martin, just hang tight for me, alright? You need medics, anything like that? No. Okay. Alrighty. Alright, we're getting a couple conflicting stories here. This gentleman's telling me there's never a fight. We've got some witness telling me. Oh, he fell off the porch. They're saying there was a physical altercation. RP of the call saying there was a physical altercation. Based off of his injuries, I don't believe he fell off the porch. I believe that there was a fight. So did you bring him here? I didn't bring anybody here. Okay. No. Um, he drove himself. He drove himself? Okay. Well, he's definitely not driving home. Right, right. Um, you haven't had anything to drink? Okay. They're, they're grabbing their IDs real quick. Oh, okay. Gotcha. All right. Go ahead, guys. <laughs> so, um, 1221. Go ahead. Yeah, so I guess he just drank a little too much. You, you were drinking too, right? So, yeah. Obviously not as much, though. Because you're pretty serious. Dude, this dude is... Yeah. Messed up. I won't lie. I, yeah. I come from a country town. That's what we all do. We drink. So I, won't lie. I got a high tolerance. <laughs> Can handle your shit. Yeah. 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 
Yeah, this dude is like. So, yeah, he had a lot, a little bit, maybe a lot too much to drink. And yeah. He was trying to drive home. He was stopping him as being a good friend. Okay. Um, he was getting pissed because obviously he wants to go home, but he's not allowing him to. So he hit him with the door. Um, then he charged at him, but he used himself defense and put him on the ground. Okay. So if you want to press charges, don't want to press charges, but he doesn't want to trespass for the night. So we'll go ahead and. It's kind of hard to trespass somebody who's in their state of mind because they're going to wake up tomorrow not knowing. Probably would be like, how the hell did I get so beat up? If anything, if he has to come get a truck, he's more than welcome. Yeah. I don't I'd mind. Obviously, I'll let him know. Yeah, I just let him know. He obviously can't keep his truck from you. If he does trespass him, just yeah. keep the peace. Keep the peace, yep. But um, she said she's willing to give him a ride home if he's willing to. Or I guess we can too. Thanks. I'm 21 now, so I can legally tell you now that I did drink the young age. Yeah, dude, yeah. It's not the smartest <laughs> oh idea, God. though. Something I won't lie. It's not the smartest yeah. idea. It's yeah. not the smartest no, idea. No, I don't drink at all, dude. It's just like... Well, like, when we're having a good time stupid. trying to hang yeah, out, yeah, no, you know, there's no it's a whole different thing. But yeah. besides that, I'm like... Less, uh, no, you can't say hi. You can't jump on them. No. <laughs> Marley's excited. <laughs> all right. That puppy is a little loud back there. Yeah. <laughs> Anyways, um, hey. <laughs> so what do you guys want to do? Are you going to take him home? Or do you, I mean, do you feel safe doing that? Yeah. Okay, well, if that's as what you want to do. Okay We're not going to force you to do it, obviously. Yeah, but as long as he's okay with me driving his truck, I will do it. And it, well, he, yeah, he's got he no. He should, he better, well, yeah, because if it's not, his ass is going with us and he's leaving his truck here, and his happy ass is going to have to find a ride back. Okay. Yeah. So <laughs> he should be happy about this. Obviously, he's not going to understand. What do, you, what do you think about the trespassing? Just open a call tomorrow, trespass him? Is that what you guys want to do? If or? anything, just void that, just so you can know, get his thing. Okay. It's totally All right. fine. I mean, the thing with trespassing is if we trespass him now, I mean, in his state of mind. He ain't going to remember. Well, I, I kind of figured two, that like, when you he were he like, back. he looks more wasted than most of us. I kind of figured, I was like, you know, he probably won't remember that in the morning. He's and not, I kinda he's feel not bad. man. Like, but acting like this, when you, that's not an excuse. Being drunk to act like that. You know what I mean? If I'm fucking shit-faced drunk, I'm, I'm not fighting people. I mean, that's just me, though. Yeah. Some people might handle their alcohol differently. But um, for the trespassing, I would personally say just just cool it for the night. Just let him go, let him go home and, and do your thing. And if you, if you truly do want to trespass him, Call us back at a, dip, at a later date. And, well, like I was and, even and telling her, that. I was like, I have no regards against the guy. He's a cool guy. Yeah. You know, we're hanging out a couple times, and I was like, you know, well, then this cool. happened, and I even told her, I was like, I don't want this to affect our friendship. Yeah, yeah. I, I just didn't want him to hurt me <clears throat> or anyone else. Okay. Yeah. So he wants you guys to take him home. All right, leave this fucking truck here. That's fine by me. Yeah. Does he know his address? Um, or do one of you? No. I don't know where he's well, going. Hopefully he knows an address, or we can't give him a ride home. But he's So here's the issue. If we can't give him a ride home, his ass is going to have to walk home. And the way he's in, we're gonna have to take him in for civil protective custody because there's no way we're gonna release a guy that's shit faced drunk out on the street by himself. He'll probably pass out in the middle of the street, get ran over. Well, to be honest with you, I will let him spend the night, but after what happened, uh, I, I can't. Don't, I don't really feel comfortable letting him. Stay I here. would. I don't blame you, dude. I don't blame you. So we'll we'll go talk to him and see what what he's cool with. Mr. Martin, all right, brother. What are we gonna do today? You're not in any trouble. They're not wanting to do any of that, but we got to figure out how to get you home. They can't do that. They don't want to. They want you to stay here for the night. Uh, where, where are you staying at? Uh, okay. Know you know. Yeah, you know your address. Yeah, four two two four, Money Street. Four two two four Money. Okay. Money. No, you live right around the corner. That's like two minutes away. Yeah. Four two two four Money Street. I'll yeah. take you right up the road, bro. If that's cool with you. <clears throat> but you just gotta know. Tomorrow when you wake up, you gotta remember that your truck is still here and you gotta come get it. Okay? We're not responsible for that. Yeah, that's cool. I'm covering my hands, brother. I gotta cover my hands. Alright, we're gonna take off. Thank you guys. Appreciate it. Have fun! Put your hands on it. I gotta search it real quick. Alright. Do you have anything on you that's gonna poke me? Except my penis. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, well, let's hope that doesn't poke me. <laughs> <laughs> anything that's gonna poke me? Penis. My penis. <laughs> Alrighty. Alrighty, so it's one of those situations where everybody was having fun, they were having a couple drinks. 
Uh, our gentleman over here took it a little too far, had a little bit too much to drink, and attempted to get in his vehicle and drive away. Uh, the other gentleman, being a good friend, attempted to stop him from what he's telling me. Attempted to stop him and uh, some sort of scuffle broke out between both of them. I mean, that's pretty apparent with this gentleman. He's pretty banged up. So, we're going to be providing him a courtesy ride back to his house. He's going to leave his truck there. We locked it all up, made sure it was okay. And this is just one of those times where, you know, a fun time turns into a bad time, unfortunately. And he's going to wake up in the morning and he's not going to be feeling so well.